Today on Keeping Up With The Cardassians, like a Demar. Hello and welcome back with another character data file. Today we're going to talk about Damar from Deep Space Nine. What can I say about Damar? Well, Damar was a Cardassian military leader and a military soldier as well. Well, he wasn't really the most remarkable one as it turned out, although he spent a lot of time next to Goldukat himself. During his time he was basically just a second hand, a second henchman of, uh, of Goldukat, and he never really did actually any remarkable military uh, tactics or actions that actually would prove him he's a really worthy officer. Although he wasn't really a remarkable officer, he actually uh, sticked around and he was quite loyal next to Golducat. He even helped uh, actually saving uh, the Golducat's daughter, Jora Zial. During the Dominion War, uh, the Cardassians actually reoccupied the DS9. Well, at the end of this short occupation by the Cardassians and Dominion forces, Jora Zial helped the rebellions actually sabotage the station, and because of this, the Federation was able to take back uh, the system and the Bajor system and the DS9 as well. Well, after Zial uh, basically basically confessed to his father. Damar didn't really tolerate this, so actually he killed uh, Jorah Zial. You heard her? She was a traitor! Dukat remained in the station grieving his daughter and uh, Damar obviously went back to Cardassia with the Dominion forces. The one turning point that actually changed him badly in the course of course of DS9 when the Breen actually joined the uh, Dominion War. Damar being overlooked and being mocked by Bayun and basically with the Dominion as well and he being blamed on every loss that actually the Dominion suffered from this war. As the war didn't really go uh, well to the Cardassians and the Dominion, um, he being blamed and actually the Dominion decided to punish the Cardassians by destroying one of the city and by destroying one city actually they killed the Mars um wife and son as well. That act actually deepened his anger towards the Dominion and eventually he started to form a little rebellion as well on his own. Soon he became a leader of the rebellions and he actually asked all the Cardassians to fight for their freedom because they've been mistreated by the Dominion and they had to stop this. I call upon Cardassians everywhere. Resist. Resist till the last Dominion soldier has been driven from our soil. That moment when he actually called the Cardassians to fight against the Dominion, that was a really big turning point in the course of the war. And even Cisco said Demar may be the key to win this war against the Dominion. Well, later on, Demar got help from the Federation um, and from Kilonarius and from Garak as well. But unfortunately, while he was leading an assault on the Dominion headquarters, he actually being killed. Um, and he became a martyr as well towards the Cardassian people. And basically that led um, the Cardassians to actually join forces and they fought against the Dominion for the first time. Well, the more played by the fantastic Casey Biggs, there was quite a few interviews with Casey Biggs and actually he said he wasn't really sure about the character at the beginning because when he got the role there was only like a couple of lines that he had to read, they might not gonna call him back but um, Iris Steven Ben actually said please stay because they have a big um, plan with this character. So he basically being kept calling cold back and cold back and eventually he became a really important role in the course of the series. Um, talking about the rebellions and you know he basically turned around the table in the Dominion War. Damar was a really interesting character because he had a really casual side in a way of you know how he was acting and he was quite arrogant as well at the very beginning of the series. During the Dominion War he became really disgusted of himself because oh, how the person who he become. He was constantly drinking canal and he had quite a few mistresses. Guilty as charged. And he basically didn't really see satisfaction in his work and, and you know the whole war just just uh, made him more angry and angry and angry and frustrated and depressed in a deepest level as possible. Although towards the end of the series he became a really strong character because he basically turned around the table in the Dominion War. When I met Casey Biggs last year in the Star Trek Destination convention, uh, I asked him what did he think about Damar, he was a bad guy or a good guy? Quite interesting, he said actually, Damar never really been a bad guy or never really been a good guy. He had good moments, he had bad moments as well, but he never been really a bad guy and he never been really a good guy either. For me, Damar always been an interesting character and every time I think about him, basically he's the, he has the most saddest uh, character development in the series, not because uh, not because of the acting or because of the character himself, it's basically how he they actually wrote um, the lines for him, how he got blamed uh, on every occasion from the Dominion, 
at one point every one of us feels a little resemblance with uh, Demar because um, when um, life really turns you down then when something starts to change in yourself and that's exactly that I saw in Demar and he really became a really good character at the end so that was my new character data file about Demar please let me know in the comment section below what did you think about Demar as a character and also let me know what was your favorite or least favorite Demar moment in the course of the series as always thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe as well to receive all the geekiness twice or even more times a week and until next time long live Cardassia